Hello, today's project is how to stop a toilet that won't stop running. Um, I believe the problem is this right here, so we're going to try to replace that. Uh, first thing we're going to do, obviously, is try to empty out the tank. I emptied out part of it already. Um, first thing you have to do is turn off the water, empty out the tank, just by flushing it a couple times, I've already done that. So there's a little bit of water left, we're going to have to drain that. Okay, this is what I bought. This is a toilet fill valve. This is a universal um, one made by Fluid Master. There were three pieces inside of the box. Um, one is the valve itself, which is that right there. The other is this little tube looking thing, and this thing that separates into four parts. Um, we're going to put these parts together. This, sorry, I trying to tape with one hand and assemble it with the other. It's quite difficult. This piece goes on right there. Um, this little guy ends up going in here. And how difficult. I'm going to have to turn this off in a second. But anyways, so that all goes together there and we will move back to the bathroom empty out the tank. Okay, I've moved into the bathroom and I've got the necessary items that I need to start the install. I have a bucket, um, a sponge, two tools, and I will probably only need one of them so that I can get the uh, nut off the bottom there. And I got gloves um, from Target. But I don't advise these gloves because I put them on and this is what happened. So I will obviously new gloves on and um, got my plumber shorts on. Just kidding. And I'm going to try to get the remaining remaining water out of the um, tank by using the sponge. Sorry, like I said, I'm using one hand to do this and the other hand to tape. But I will turn that off. Anyways. Um, emptying all the water into the bucket so that when I take out um, the bottom there, it doesn't leak all over the place. It's kind of difficult. So, let me just turn this camera off for a second. Okay, fortunately, I was able to, oh, there's my feet, able to <laughs> uh, empty it out with very little problem. I actually thought I'd get blue everywhere, including on, well, okay, now I have it on my arm. I spoke too fast. But anyways, um, now that most of it's out, I am going to undo the nut at the bottom there, and hopefully nothing will come out. Okay, so I was able to undo this portion just by um, turning it with my fingers. This bolt up here is a little tougher, so I'm going to use one of these tools that I had shown you. Let's see if that works. Stripping some of the blue stuff. Luckily, I put the bucket underneath. Okay, with that nut at the bottom undone, you're able to pull this entire piece out. Kind of let it drain out, and then I'll put it in a bag to discard. Okay, now the new piece right here can adjust out because it, it was shorter uh, when it came out of the box. So what I did was I extended it um, so that it's approximately the same size as the old one in length. This is the part you adjust just by twisting. I've also just put on the tubing, connected it to the little area that was sticking out. Now, I will insert it into the hole where the old one used to be, right down there. Actually, I think I need to adjust it a little higher. But anyways, um, then what I'm going to do on the bottom side is attach the little nuts which is this guy and this one. This nut goes first, and it's going to go right up here. Okay, once that okay. guy goes on, actually, I see that the existing one um, that I was showing you before this is the same thing, and it's in good condition. So to, prevent, to avoid a step, I'm just going to screw that one right back in. Now that everything's in place, I need to put the angle adapter on and get the tubing 
or the drain is there. So this is the angle adapter. Um, I have to trim the tubing. I've trimmed about that much off. I've attached the angle adapter onto the bottom side. Now I'm going to affix the angle adapter so that the hole where the water will come out goes into that drain. Okay, and that's what I believe it should look like. Um, a couple other things. You want to make sure there's a line down here. On, I don't know if you can see that. It's the gray area. You need to make sure that's about an inch above the, um, the uh, drain, or whatever you call that. Now I'm going to fill it in here. Just turn the water on. It's filling up. And once that guy goes on, actually I see that the existing one um, that I was showing you before this is the same thing and it's in good condition. So to prevent to avoid a step, I'm just gonna screw that one right back in. Okay, the water is stopped. Let's try flushing it and hopefully. Okay, the toilet flushed. There you have it. No more noise. We stopped the, um, the running of the toilet, and that was how to install. That's it. That's how to install it. Um, it took about 10 minutes and saved a plumber call. So try it. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.